In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from paper two of the 2024 Leave and Cert Ordinary Level exam. If you are looking for a different question from this paper, you should find a link to a playlist in the description below. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully so it's similar to what you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't a classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that. Use the pause button, rewind, fast forward, watch it in high speed or slow speed, whatever helps you out. And if you do find this video or any of my videos useful, I would appreciate like, subscribe, all that stuff. What really helps out the channel the most is though, sharing it with someone that might find it useful. For question two, they tell us Sean is playing a game that has 14 different cards. Seven of the cards are green and seven of the cards are red and they're, they're both numbered one to seven. And they simply ask us to fill out this table with all that information. Um, there's no trick here. This is actually a really simple, most questions start with something simple, help you get a few marks. So for example, if Sean pulls out the card a green two, G2, that's, that's all they wanted right here. This will be green, green one, green three, uh, green four. I said in question one that their part A may have been the easiest uh, question I've ever seen. This might be even easier. Uh, all we have to do is fill all of these in and then we'll go on to um, answer the rest of the questions. But there, you got marks for doing that. Okay, for part B then, they ask, uh, a card is chosen at random. Work out the probability of getting a card with an even number. So how do we do probabilities? It's simply how many things uh, that they describe happening, is there? Divided by total number of things that can happen. That's uh, at least a simple way I like to think of it. So they asked uh, the probability of finding an even number on a card. So if we pull G1, no. G2, yes. Yes, yes. So that's a, what, one, two, and three, four, five, and six. They're all the even numbers there. There's six different even numbers cards we could have pulled out. How many total possibilities could we have got? Well, they told us in the first line of the question, 14 cards. There's 14 cards in total. And that's it, that's the answer. You might lose a mark for that because you can make that bit smaller. That's the same as three over seven. Two goes into both of them. And you could also write this as 0 0.429 or 42.9%. All, all three of these should be full marks. They don't, they don't tell you how they, want to, how they want the answers row. Now in part C, they tell us that Sean picks a card at random but doesn't replace it. And the card he picks is OR5, red 5. Um, he then picks a second card and they ask, what's the probability of the second card being green? So just like here, we think everything that, um, that they describe divided by the total number. So he's already picked OR5 and he keeps that card, puts it, puts it aside. What's the probability of him picking a green card? So how many green cards are there? There's seven green cards. And how many total cards are there? And that, here's where you have to be careful. It's not 14 because he, he's already taken one away. How many are left in that deck? There's only 13 cards. And that's the answer. There's seven green divided by total of 13. And again, this answer can be wrote as 0 0.538 or 53.8%. All these numbers are identical. There's no difference between them. In part D, it tells us Sean picks a card at random again and doesn't replace it. Uh, he then picks a second card at random. Find the probability that that second card is a different color and a different number from the first. That seems quite difficult. Um, until we try, we could try it if you do, because the thing is you don't know what that first card is. Now, it turns out it doesn't matter. But well, if you want, you could just imagine a few examples of first cards. For example, you could say he picked or five again. And then maybe you could say, oh, what? and you could do the whole question again with green four. And you'll find it doesn't make a difference. Uh, actually, in fact, let's do that. Let's imagine the first card he picked in question D was or five again. So what's the probability of the second card being a different color 
and a different number than R5. So a different colour would have to be green and a different number can't be a 5. So it'd be green 1, green 2, uh, green 1, green 2, green 3, green 4, green 6 and green 7. There'd be 6 possible answers if he picked R5. There'd be 6 out of, and again there'd only be 13. By the way, this is actually the full answer, uh, but you can just test this by saying, okay, what? Oh, maybe that was a fluke. Maybe this only works when he picks or, or five. Well, then you can think, what if he picked uh, green six? What's the odds of being different than green six? Different color, has to be red. Different number, can't be six. Again, there's only six possibilities. And out of a total of 13. So it doesn't matter what comes out first. It would be 6 over 13 is the answer. Um, for those students who are thinking, hang on, if you pick two cards, should we not be multiplying two numbers? Uh, we sort of are. The odds, the same in part C actually, we sort of are. The odds of picking or 5 in part C was 1, it was 100, it was guaranteed. In part D, the odds of picking any card, again, is 1, it's just guaranteed. Um, anyway, the, the answer here is 6 over 13, which also could be wrote as 0 0.462 or 46.2%. Uh, and that's the end of question two. If you have any questions for me, put them in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.